I've wondered this a lot. Like, how has Barbie had this lasting popularity for 60-something years? Other toy companies have made dolls. Other, you know, so even just as far as what you can do now with a toy, kids can literally have iPads and, you know, just... So why is a doll still important to people? It's it's really kind of fascinating, and I'm sure there's a lot of answers, but the thing I keep coming back to is it's clearly a device, a tangible device that they can use, kids in particular I'm talking about, can use to try and make sense of situations, and it can be a, an opportunity to imagine themselves in certain scenarios, maybe being a grown-up, which is something that's super interesting and elusive when you're a kid. Um, or maybe they're trying to figure something out and, and they can do it through play. So I think it's just ingrained in us, I suppose, to tell stories or create stories as a way of understanding ourselves and what's happening around us. And to do it with Barbie specifically as opposed to any other toys, I don't know. I mean, she's definitely stayed top of mind over the decades, uh, both for good reasons and bad reasons. And I think this ever-evolving journey she's on has kept people intrigued over the years. Well, she's just uh, always been this kind of cultural monolith. That's why it's so brilliant that Greta starts the film that way in that sort of 2001 nod. It's, um, it, it's, it's, it's so true. Well, I doubted my Kennergy to be honest, and, uh, it, but I, I did not ever for a second doubt Margot or Greta. So, uh, but you know, it was such a, like, like a, it's such a special film and it's just, it's so fresh and yet it feels like things I, so many things I love growing up, but it also feels like something I've never seen and um, it just felt, I just felt very lucky to, to be a part of it. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was like I knew what Toto felt when he walked into the <laughs> Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you weren't Dorothy. You were Toto. I was Toto. Yeah, in, I mean, in I'm, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm having the Toto experience, <laughs> <laughs> and it's and I'm loving it. I love it. Um, I'm yet to find out what's not perfect about Ryan, and I've worked with him now what? too. Where normally you go through this process and you get to what know are you people, even saying right now? and you see them at their, you know, under pressure and under stress, and when they're tired and all those kind of stuff. Sometimes that's when you really get to see another side to a person, and I'm literally yet to see a bad side of Ryan. So I feel validated in believing from the get-go that Ryan is just a perfect human being and he continues to be. That's a great question. Oh, there's a diploma for that. Yeah. Do you have any, do you know anyone who, who does beach? <laughs> I'd love to talk to them. Yeah, I couldn't find anyone. Um, and when you Google it, just nothing comes up. It's just, uh, it's, there's no, there's no, there's no information on beach. Yeah. And everyone keeps telling him that he's good at it, and, and that feels great, but he's not sure what he's done. It's a lot like my dog, where he wants to be a good boy, and, and he's just not sure how to be a good boy, and, I'm, and I tell him he is, and he's, he's, he likes hearing it, but he's not sure what he's done to get it. He doesn't, you know, anyway. <laughs>